Angus Ketchado, Extension Entomologist at Mississippi State University. We have several projects being funded this year through the Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board. One is the one you see behind us. It's a plant and date study. It's being conducted in the Delta and in the Hills region of Mississippi. And one of the things that we're looking at, we're looking at the risk of different insect pests by planting date and maturity group. One of the things that we're hypothesizing right now is early planting dates will miss the bulk of all of the major pests that show up late in the season. Another thing we're doing is we have treatments imposed on all these planting dates and maturity groups where we're making automatic applications of the diamide chemistry to control caterpillar pests because we're trying to simulate the future potential value of a BT soybean in the state of Mississippi. I'm Jeff Ramsey and I'm working on three-cornered alfalfa hoppers and how, how they impact soybeans in Mississippi. In the past, they were considered a pest, but the data that we have received lately is showing that they may not be a pest and what this can do to help us is we may be able to up the threshold on three corners and what this will do is uh, this will provide growers possibly economic relief by not having to spray as much for them. My name is Nick Bateman so I have a bunch of planting dates you can see behind us here in soybeans. I got a maturity group four and a maturity group five. So last year we found that the later planting dates we have more threshold sprays for both stink bugs and with loofers, late season caterpillar fest. So we had a yield trend showing that Prevathon or simulated BT beans yielded higher across all planting dates. My name is Adam Whalen, and one thing that I've been working on is trying to figure out what kind of risks neonicotinoids may pose to uh, pollinating honeybees and soybeans. So another thing we looked at was trying to determine when and at what densities honeybees visit soybeans and other crops here in the Mid South. Uh, one thing we're seeing in the Mid-South is that in other publications in other parts of the country they've seen uh, neonic compounds in greater concentrations than we have in our flowering crops. And so this is going to allow us to keep using these, these products. My name is Andrew Adams. I'm a PhD student at Mississippi State University under Angus Ketchot and Jeff Gore. And what my project is uh, primarily focused on, basically the diamide chemistries. So the diamide chemistry is very important for growers throughout uh, Mississippi. It's fairly recent, got registered in the past three to four years, and is our primary uh, caterpillar control insecticide. My main goal here is to find out the uh, best management practices and best use strategies for this compound.